Valeria Maxetska, a 31-year-old Ukrainian lady, was allegedly shot dead by a Russian tank in a town south of Kyiv while searching for medicine for her ill mother. Her mother and the vehicle's driver were both killed in the attack. Valeria Maxetska, a skilled medic, had decided to return to Ukraine when Russia invaded to assist the locals. After her mother's medicine ran out, she decided to depart the country. They were ambushed and killed as they drove towards the country's western boundaries. According to reports, the vehicle had pulled over to enable Russian forces to pass when one of them opened fire on the vehicle. Valeria was employed by the US Agency for International Development at the time of her death. Samantha Power, the administrator of the United States Agency for International Development, confirmed her death. I am enormously sad to share the death of Valeria, proud Ukrainian beloved USAID, implementing partner and brilliant, compassionate leader on building social cohesion and fighting disinformation. She was killed by the Russian military just shy of her 32nd birthday, Samantha Power said in a statement confirming her death. She survived the shelling of Donetsk, moved to Kyiv and started working with the USAID, where she became beloved as a brave woman with a kind heart. Lera, a trained medic, could have left Kyiv when the invasion began but stayed to help others, she added. We celebrate her fierce dedication to Ukraine and joyful spirit. As Lera wrote, when Kyiv was attacked, she was angry at the awful violence but so proud to be a Ukrainian and live some place where beliefs matter, she said. Valeria was born and raised in the Ukrainian city of Donetsk. Since Russia's invasion of the Crimean Peninsula in 2014, she had worked as part of the humanitarian response. On February 24th, Russia invaded Ukraine and launched a series of strikes across the country. The fighting has resulted in a catastrophic refugee crisis and the deaths of hundreds of civilians in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Ukraine claims that over 12,000 Russian servicemen have died so far in the conflict. News Desk, Comedy Global. Music